Hello everybody, this is Jody Ann Johnson with the 78th episode of Coffee with Jody. And as we enter into Earth Month, I'm going to talk with you about sustainability in the office, about innovation, about the things we can do on Earth Day, and how all of this fits together inside of lean principles and creating a world that works. I'd like to share with you our sustainability statement. Through our alignment with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number eight, we use our business as a vehicle to create awareness and to inspire others to engage in sustainable practices that are good for the people and for our planet. United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number eight promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. One of the ones that's a favorite of mine has to do with food reclamation and eliminating food waste. At the onset of the pandemic, we learned about Paul Akers and his two-second lean and have engaged in this process, which I've mentioned many times throughout in the Coffee with Jody series, in learning about lean and learning about eliminating waste. Many people think that eliminating waste means cutting costs. It actually doesn't. It is more to do with adding value and creating efficiencies. One of the stories that was most interesting to me that I read actually this morning has to do with a hospital whose MRI machine took four months, 16 weeks for people to get an appointment and they were looking at how are they going to cut staff and what, what did they need to do to bring down the cost because the department wasn't profitable. Actually, what they did was to reduce the amount of time it took for people to get an appointment and to get through the MRI um, process itself and it actually generated $5 million in profit for that division over the course of the year. So it's not about cost cutting. It's not about uh, going in and, and creating an environment that's, um, what's the word I want to use, like a harsh environment or having to really go without or anything like that. It has a lot more to do with creativity, innovation, awareness. And as we go into Earth Month, that's what we want to do. We want to create awareness and inspire people to take actions to create a lean office environment where you're in continuous improvement, you're optimizing your processes and optimizing the whole, where you're building quality in, eliminating waste, creating fast delivery of your products or services, like creating knowledge and awareness for people, reversing irreversible decisions, and being respectful of people. This year, Earth Day's theme is Restore Our Earth. And a lot of that has to do with creating respectful practices, both for people and for the planet. So we'll be you know, going into a number of different ideas that we'll share with you. Uh, some personal, some having to do with the business. And I'll tell you one of the personal ones you know, that I took on last year was, okay, we're gonna compost, because we know we were eliminating food when we would go to Costco or we would go to the grocery store and end up going to dinner instead and then sat in the refrigerator. I'm sure you're familiar with the story. And I will tell you, if you decide to compost, learn all about it first because I said, this is disgusting. There was so much I didn't know. I just was like, okay, you throw everything into the composting bin and we got one that tumbles and all of that. No, it's not that simple. However, when you do know how to do it, it is a wonderful practice that does uh, eliminate the waste by transforming it into something useful called dirt. The other is just you know not going bulk shopping, you know not participating in bulk shopping. As I come to the office, what we've been doing is looking at how can we streamline our processes, how can we create greater efficiencies in less time searching for documents. And if you look behind me, you see the color coding of, of my books. Um, believe it or not, the neuroscience says I'll remember the color of the cover of that book 
rather than the name of the author or the name of the book, much better than, um, than having it either in alphabetical order or by size or something like that. So we're learning lots of different ways to create a lean office environment that works for us and to be able to transform and to be able to transfer that knowledge to our clients and to our community and ultimately to our world. So in celebration of Earth Month, we invite you to take on a conversation in your office. What can we do to restore our Earth as a team or as individuals? Some of us are very passionate about climate control or for me, I'm very passionate about food waste. Everybody has something different. So rather than saying, okay, we're all going to go do a beach cleanup, unless everybody's on board with that, you might want to just have people take up the thing that, mat that matters most to them and take an action, one small action, toward creating a greater sustainability in the office, in their lives, and in our world. If you like this video, please like it, <laughs> share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more information, more fun, more ideas on celebrating our Earth and one another. That's it for today.